Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today we're going to talk about how to create and use galleries inside of Notion. Galleries are a very visual way of viewing um, a collection of information and pages and can be very powerful in certain applications. And we're going to show you how to use them in this video. So before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help out my channel. If you want to see more videos about how to use productivity apps like Notion, Evernote, Todoist, the Google Doc Suite, Microsoft Office Suite, or any other apps, you should really subscribe to my channel because that's literally the intent of the channel to show you how to be more productive in these applications. And lastly, if you want to be notified when I release videos, please click the bell. Thanks. Let's get started. So here I have a personal projects page. And let's say I wanted to add a gallery to this page that would display on this page. What I would do is I would type slash, start spelling the word gallery, and you'll see as I get to the two L's, it limits it down to the two options I have for creating a gallery database. One is inline, one is full page. Now the inline option, which is the one we're going to choose in this case, will actually put a gallery on this page. The full page option would put a, create a separate page gallery on a separate page that is a sub page of this page. And I'm going to show you what that looks like as well, but let's start with the inline gallery. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, it dropped off this gallery block right on top uh, of this current page. Remember all these type of tables and all the type of things you do, everything's a block on a page and gallery is no exception. So we can give this a name inline gallery. And as you can see, we have, when we do that, hit enter, I have three default pages that it gives you, plus a, another box where I can add another gallery. The first page always has these little to-dos, which is always a little weird to me, but I guess it's giving you an idea of what you can put in a gallery page. So we can just take those out real quick. And let's say we wanted to call this dog images. And then let's say, so I can come down here, I can actually type a slash right in the body here, because this is a page. One of the things I probably should cover is that everything in Notion from is a block in a page or a page, right, itself. In this case, every, like this card, if I come, click off of it here, this card is a page. This inline gallery is a block that contains pages. In this case, this dog images is a page, page two, page three, and the other things that cards that you add are pages. So. And as a result, I can do anything I could do in a page, regular page, I can do here, right? So I can sit here and type, well, if I learn how to type slash to bring up the image, I can put an image here and click embed image. And let's say I wanted to find a dog image. Dog image. There's a good one from you splash. It will drop that image in there and there you go. And if I wanted to put another image in here, I can just come down here, type image again click, unsplash, type in dog again, and there we go. And what will happen is now that will show up. Now when I click off of this, you'll see the first, by default, it chooses the first image in that page as the image. I can actually reposition that image um, by simply clicking on the reposition button and I can drag up and down to position that image and you click save position and then now it's in that position. I can come over here and create art gallery as an example. Come down here again, type slash image and go to use splash again because it's an easy place to find me to find um, images. I can type in gallery and choose that one. And it will put that in there. And when I click out, as you can see now, dog images, art gallery, you get the idea. It's really a visual way of representing these things. Now, that doesn't mean that that's the only thing that a gallery can hold is images. Remember, it's a page like any other page in Notion. And as a result, I can come in here. I could say that this is my, I don't know, shopping list. And I might want to put an image here just, you know, in a sick groceries and type that there all right make it look pretty and then under here i might have a list a to-do list pick up lettuce 
and then I might say salt, steak, chicken, oregano, um, milk. You get the idea, right? Hit the enter twice, and now that's in there, right? So now I click off here, I have my shopping list, and when I click on it, I scroll down, I have my little list here, and it's in a gallery view. And that's, you know, how you do inline galleries. Now, the next, we're going to talk about how you do a full page gallery, which is very similar, <laughs> but, you know, it just puts it on a separate page. Okay, so now let's talk about full page galleries. And you create those the same way you create an inline one by saving gallery, slash and gallery. Only this time, you're going to create a gallery on its own sub page. And what that means is it's going to literally create a new page that's dedicated to your gallery that's going to be a sub page of the current page you're on, which in my case is this personal projects page. So I'm going to click that. And as you can see, I'm going to say this is a full page gallery. And as you can see, it looks very similar to the inline gallery in that it has three sample, uh, I guess, default created uh, gallery options and a new box just like the other one and it has the to use just in the page one just like the other one does the difference being if i go back to personal projects as you can see i still have my inline gallery that i created where it actually displays it on the page i created it on and then this one it has a is a sub page of the personal projects so you can see it has a link so when i click it it brings me to that gallery now i'm going to quickly come in here and just add another image And we'll use use splash again, and we'll say flowers. So maybe we want to image, you know, collect pictures of awesome flowers we have. We'll call this a flower gallery. Flowers. And you might have a couple here, so we'll do another one real quick that you like. Something like that. As you can see, you have these flowers in here now. I click off, you have the flowers. We talked about how you can reposition the main image and then save it. Now, one of the things you could do is when you have these, I'm going to create another one here. We'll call this cars. So maybe you like to have a collection of car images. Oop. And just quickly go to use splash cars. slash image and do another one real quick and that draws in there as well as you can see and to quickly delete card let's say you only wanted to have you didn't want to have this empty third card sitting here you just come in here to the ellipses click and then see delete and just delete it and now you always have the two cards one of the things you could do is come in and click the properties here and you can see the properties for this block and there's a couple different things you can do here uh, you have you have a none for card preview in which case it takes off the the images all together you can go page cover which would just put the cover of this entire page on there uh, so i'll show you that in a second or page content and that's that's sort of the default and that shows you the first image in the page in that card page right okay so one of the other things you can configure here is card size. So I can sit here and say large, and that makes the cards bigger, obviously, as you can see here. Or if I go back in, I can make them small, and that makes them tiny. But the default is medium, and that's a pretty good size, especially if you have a bunch of cards. You'll want to sort of, you know, you don't want to have to scroll forever. You could also have created, if you add, click the create a tab here. This actually shows you all the properties that are in your card. So I'm going to turn them on real quick. I don't have any tags, but let me just toggle them off real quick. Open up a card, and I'm going to show you. Here are those two, the created and the um, tags. So let's, let's say I had this one that said flowers. I create a tag for that, and I come over here, and I create one that says cars as an example. And I go into properties, and I start I toggle on the created, and I toggle on the tags. As you can see, the properties will show up here. And if you had more properties, I could add more properties to the table here by clicking Add a Property. And let's say I wanted to do, um, let's take a look what we have here. Let's do a URL. 
and I enable that. Right now it doesn't show because I don't have that set up, but let's say I come in here and I just type in my blog's URL, which you should check out. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to click off. I'm going to come over here. Let's do the same thing. And as you can see, when you look at this, now that property shows up as well. And I can toggle it off. You don't see it anymore. So you can really customize what gets shown in gallery view uh, based upon the properties. The other thing you can do is you can fit image. So you that actually reduces the size to fit the window. But that kind of looks ugly. So I'm just going to say undo <laughs> there and as you see it looks much better as well you can also hide the name so I can actually hide the name of the card I can hide everything but the image if I want by just toggling everything off but the you know actual image well I hope this video was helpful to you if you like this video please click the like button it really helps out my channel if you want to see more of my videos please click that subscribe button because this channel as I said earlier is all about how to enable you to use productivity apps if you are actually looking for um, a tutorial on Notion. I, I'm going to link up above me. I have a beginner's guide to Notion, which takes you through not just galleries, but every aspect of Notion that you need to know to be productive in it. I highly recommend you check that out. And um, if you want to be notified when I release videos, please click the bell. Thanks.